Hello, in this demonstration, I'll show you a couple of ways to create a monochromatic palette in Adobe Illustrator. If you want to follow along with me, go up to Window, Workspace, choose Essentials, and then if you've been messing around a lot in Adobe Illustrator, even though you've changed your workspace, go back to Workspace and choose Reset Essentials. That way we'll all be on the same page here. First I'll show you the most basic way of accessing a monochromatic palette. Go up to Window and choose Color and we'll get back to that panel in a minute here. Go over to your Fill Swatch in the toolbar and double click it. And then select the uh, radio button here next to the H, next to Hue, so that you can pick some color that you like. And over here in the Hue panel, choose the darkest color that you think you might want to use for your monochromatic design. And then click OK. And then click on the Color Guide tab over here in this panel and click on the drop down arrow and in this list you'll find two monochromatic options. There's monochromatic and monochromatic 2. So now I've got five colors right here to work with in my monochromatic design. And now here's the other way you can create a monochromatic palette. Go up to Window and Workspace and we're going to change this to Painting and over in your toolbar, in your color swatches, select the stroke. And you want to make it so that you're not going to get a stroke line right now for this next step. So just click on your little white box with the red slash through it right here to get rid of uh, any stroke. Go back to your fill color and double click that. So in the color picker, be sure that you have the H hue selected right here so that you have your whole range of colors to choose from and pick a range and then locate uh, over here in this panel, locate the darkest color that you might imagine you'd like to use for your monochromatic design and then click OK. And now go to your toolbar and choose the rectangle tool. Well, actually, you can use the ellipse if you want. I think that uh, I'll use the rectangle for this demonstration here. And I'm going to just click and drag and make a small square. And that's going to have that dark color that I picked. And uh, then I want to, let me go back to my selection tool now. and. Uh, I need to make a duplicate of this so you can either do a copy paste or I'll hold my alt key down and just drag so that I have a duplicate. And the duplicate is going to have to be a little ways away from uh, the first color. The duplicate you want to change to the lightest color that you think you might like to use for your design. So again I'll double click over here in my fill swatch. And with the H, the hue, still selected within this hue, I want to go up here to the upper left and pick the lightest color. And that may even be that you'd like to use white, but I'll move it a little bit over to the right here so that hopefully I'll be able to see it, uh, you know, down here. And, uh, and then I'll click OK. So I have the darkest and the lightest. And now I will click drag to select both and I'm going to align them. So up here in the toolbar I'll just use my uh, horizontal uh, left align and then while they're both selected I'm going to go over here to the toolbar to the blend tool and select that and then click once on the dark square and once on the light square. So now I've blended but I want to separate this into just five swatches. So back to the blend tool over in the toolbar, I'll double click it. All right, the blend options menu pops up. I can click on this drop down here for spacing. Choose specified steps. 
And here, I'm just going to put the number three. I just want three steps in between the darkest and the lightest. And click OK. So now I've got five swatches in this monochrome palette. You can even save this to your swatch library. So the way you can do that, I'm going to go back to my selection tool now. And this whole group is selected, but they're all attached to each other, and I want to separate them. So uh, with this group selected, I'll go to Object, Expand, and Object is already selected here, and I'll click OK. And then I'm going to ungroup this. Uh, you can go up to Object Ungroup up here, or uh, you could do it with a right mouse button click. Okay, and then I'll click away. So now they are all individual. Okay, but I am going to reselect. And over in my swatches, I'll click on the uh, little folder icon. And I'm going to name this something I'd remember, like Renee Monochrome 1. And it says selected artwork and include swatches for tints. You can include swatches for tints or not, but uh, as long as I have selected the artwork, which is this, I can click OK. Now over here in my swatches, I have a folder with these colors. So if you want to save these anyway, you could push them off, you know, away from the image area. And in your layers, you could uh, lock that layer, and you could name it swatches if you wanted to, and then start a new layer so that you don't create drawings on your swatch layer. Well, that's it for tips on creating your palette colors and saving your swatches.